SpaceX's latest Starship prototype, SN11, is all but ready for its high-altitude flight test. SN11 will be the fourth full-scale Starship prototype to attempt the 10km flight. Prior to this, only Starship SN10 managed to land in a single piece after the high-altitude flight. However, as you might be aware of, SN10 quickly turned into a fireball just minutes after what appeared to be a successful landing. Starship SN11 completed its routine cryogenic pressure test just few days after being rolled out to the launch pad. This was followed by a static fire attempt on March 15th. The prototype ignited two or more of the Raptor engine's pre-burner. However, the static fire was aborted just milliseconds before Raptor engine could actually ignite. This static fire abort means that Starship SN11 will have to wait a few more days before seeing any flight action. A week later, on 22nd March, Starship SN11 finally successfully completed the static fire test, clearing the way for the imminent high-altitude flight test. The static fire was followed by the installation of Flight Termination System, or FTS. This is just to make sure that in an event where the Starship prototype deviates from its planned trajectory, the rocket will automatically destroy itself before causing any harm to life or property. But looking at the history of the Starship flights, it is highly unlikely that this system will be triggered. Earlier Starship SN11 was expected to attempt the high altitude flight test on March 24th or 25th based on the road closures at the launch site. However, due to some bad weather and low visibility, the road closures on these dates have been cancelled. A temporary flight restriction or TFR has been issued for March 26th and 27th, indicating a possible flight for the Starship prototype. However, as of the making of this video, there are no scheduled road closures on these dates. So once again, the factor that is delaying the flight attempts for Starship is the weather and not a technical issue, which surely is a good sign for SpaceX. Now let's take a look at a major change in Starship SN11 compared to its predecessor, SN10. As you might know, Starship SN10 reignited all the three Raptor engines for the flip maneuver of the landing burn. This was followed by a step-by-step -step switching to a single Raptor engine for the final phase of landing. But even though this landing maneuver was quite successful, the single Raptor engine was probably not enough for the Starship to have smooth landing. Starship SN10 had a fairly high landing velocity which the landing legs could not sustain. This problem was made even worse for SN10 as two or three of the landing legs just failed to deploy. In order to make sure that Starship SN11 won't have such complications, SpaceX's Starship team has decided to use two Raptor engines all the way to touchdown. This will make sure that the landing velocity remains low and also provide further redundancy. These rapid changes in design and trajectory just proves the effectiveness of the iterative development process that SpaceX uses. SpaceX has decided to skip the prototypes SN12, 13 and 14 and Starship SN11 will be followed directly by Starship SN15. The prototypes from SN15 onwards are going to have some major design changes which are not revealed yet. But looking at some recent Starship renders, we can safely assume that SN15 will have some improved landing legs design with some other upgrades. That's all for today's video. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.